Hello class, Miss Tucker here. We are almost done with our modules on problem solving. So far you have learned how to restate the problem and identify important information, choose a problem solving method and operation, and follow through by doing the calculations. Now we are going to talk about how to check our work. This is a very important step in the problem solving process because it helps you see if your answer makes sense and if you made any mistakes along the way. Let's go! Let's look at a sample problem. If you had followed the procedures as taught in the modules, you would have read the problem first. John had 15 pencils in his pencil box. 10 of them were sharpened. He asked his teacher to sharpen the rest for him. How many pencils did John ask his teacher to sharpen? Next, you would have found the important information in the problem. John had 15 pencils in his pencil box. 10 were sharpened, and he asked his teacher to sharpen the rest. Next, you would have found the question, how many pencils did John ask his teacher to sharpen? And restated it as a sentence, like so. John asked his teacher to sharpen blank pencils. Next, since you've made it this far in the module, I know you picked a great way to model your problem. Perhaps you would have drawn a picture like this one. Then you would have performed the operation 15 minus 10 equals 5 and filled in the blank in your sentence. Now we get to the step that this video is all about. How do we know this answer is correct? Well, the first thing we do is go back to the problem from the beginning to end. When you go back through your problem, ask yourself to look at the steps you took and if they make sense based on the purpose of the problem. Look at the information given in the problem. Does your answer fit in with the problem? Or is the number too high or too low to make sense given the story? You have to perform self-talk, which is like a short discussion with yourself, which allows you to check your own thinking. Now that I have explained the process, allow me to do some self-talk aloud using this problem to help you understand what I mean. Okay, so I've solved this problem. I'm going to go back and look and make sure that my answer of 5 pencils makes sense. In the problem, there was originally only 15 pencils, and 10 of them were sharpened. 10 is more than half of 15, so it makes sense that my answer is going to be less than 10, since he's asking for the rest to be sharpened. I drew my picture as a box with 15 pencils in it, which matches with the fact that there were 15 pencils in his box. I circled 10 pencils to show the ones that were already sharpened, and then counted the rest that were not circled to represent the ones that needed to be sharpened. There were 5 pencils not circled, meaning 5 pencils needed to be sharpened still. And that makes sense since 5 is less than 10, which is less than half of 15. So considering all those things, I'm pretty sure my answer of 5 pencils is correct given the information. Well there you go. Some self-talk that I've just done to solve this problem right here to make sure that it's correct. Taking the time to self-talk doesn't take very long and it helps you reinforce the fact that your problem is correct. I hope that you take the time on each of your problems that you solve to do this self-talk so that you can be more confident in your answers choices. Thanks, let's continue with the module.